welcome to or back to the channel. I uh, hope everybody is doing well. And uh, I imagine looking at the name of this video, it's probably got some of you scratching your head. Uh, I, I would take that. Um, good reason for it though. We're going to do something very, very different today. So with season three of Mandalorian coming up in just a few days, uh, I believe it's March 1st, is the new release of season three. I figured we do something uh, in honor of that season and that awesome show. And I had this custom made, and this is the Mandalorian brush for the Mando. So this is done by Symmetry Turning, a uh, gentleman by the name of Mark Strong, and this is one of one. So these are uh, very unique pieces, and uh, man, he, he did a bang up job. I mean, look at that guy just seated in there perfectly. Uh, it is a silver tip badger, uh, 24 millimeter, and I believe it's a two and a quarter loft. So really, really nice, feels fantastic. So uh, truly looking forward to putting this through the paces today. So obviously brush on tap is gonna be that guy right there. And then uh, Pedro Pascal is obviously the lead actor in that show. Uh, it's a fantastic actor. He's been great in everything that he's done thus far, for the most part, uh, going all the way back to Game of Thrones. So I figured, okay, Pedro Pascal, Let's do Pedro Fiasco in the vanilla. So I have not used this yet. Uh, it's another A and E, uh, and I think you guys get to get to uh, understanding that uh, I seem to be a big fan of their product thus far, and uh, uh, I am because they really do outstanding stuff. So take a look at that. Uh, I mean, that looks just awesome. So this one is uh, is the cream shape soap. And this is actually made with beer. So I uh, think that's kind of cool. I'd love to know what type of beer. Uh, it'd be great if it was a Guinness Stout. Uh, but we're gonna give this guy a whirl today. And uh, being that it's a cream, I'm sure it's gonna take a lot, you know, a decent amount of water, but we'll, we'll play with that in just a moment. So keeping along with the same theme as far as uh, modern, futuristic, Mandalorian and such, I figured we'd go with the Henson again. Uh, didn't want to go with a vintage razor. Wanted to go with something a little bit more, you know, new, modern, got kind of some cool designs to it. Uh, I did a full review on this. If anybody hasn't seen that, I'll link it at the end, as I always do in the description. But uh, just quick tips. It's all aluminum, uh, fantastic razor, really, really intuitive, easy to use. Basically, find your spot. It drops right onto your face. It's such a beautiful angle and basically does all the work for you. So this is Really, if you're getting into wet shaving, I, I think this is a gem. So I have it loaded up with the RK blade again. And these are, uh, I believe, out of India. And they are designed specifically for the HL, the Henson AL13. Sorry. And this is the mild version. Okay. Got the Bo Bromel bowl heating up nicely in some hot water. You guys know this is a fantastic bowl that I always recommend and use. So this guy's been heating up nice, getting some nice warm, warmth off of that. And I say we get this puppy rolling. So we're gonna, oh, wow, 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 wow. Look at that. I mean, that's a cream. I mean, it's just ridiculous. So we'll take a, we'll take a nice, we'll get a nice blob out of that. Get that into that bottom of that bowl. This guy, I'm, expecting to lather up pretty pretty good so it is more of an evening shave today for me so uh not out of the shower um pardon me on the water i'd like to always get the remainder off my finger right onto the brush uh i i hate to waste anything so just get that bad boy loaded up right there okay good sorry about the water let me wet the face we'll get the runway prepped So Symmetry Turning, uh, the gentleman Mark Strong who made this brush, uh, super, super nice guy. I don't know him personally, um, just basically found him on Etsy and uh, I happened to see this brush and I was just like, come on, man, that's cool. I mean, <laughs> that's awesome. So uh, I grabbed it and uh, turns out it's, it's one of one. So uh, super, super happy about that. And let me get some water in here. As suspected, 
this guy's going to want some some water as a cream. And keep in mind when you when you're lathering up, um, best to go with too little water to start than too much because if you hit too much water right out of the gate, you're dumping it and starting over. Uh, too little, you just keep working it, keep working it on your face in the bowl, whichever you prefer. And uh, but it's coming along. I mean, shoo, come on, uh, up, up and away. At that A and E, I tell you, man, it's like they—they they really, you know, Peter's really got this down to a science. And let me give you guys some notes off of here. Ah, it's really nice. Hmm. I'm not getting really much vanilla. It's more of just a clean smell that I'm picking up. Uh, I'll, I'll hit the, the notes and such on the side and we'll see what we got going on in here, but I'm not getting any really, certainly not any gourmand. I mean, it's very fresh um, scent, so just to dab the water just a little bit more. I think we're good to go. I mean, I think that uh, that tells us everything right there, right? So we'll do this. We'll do a one-two today. We'll do a two-passer, okay, on the Mando Shave. Oh, that silver tip. Wow, that's so nice, so comfortable. Oh, it smells even better once it starts going on. I tell you, those guys, Peter over there and the crew, like a mad scientist. I love what he's got going on over there. And as you can see, you know, it's... um. You can tell it, it wants it wants some more water, so it's not totally ready to go just yet. But that, <laughs> as I speak, but uh, but it's good. I mean, and the smells super nice. I, I really like it. Very fresh, very clean. So, pardon me. Brand new brush. Got a hair come off. At least that's what it feels like. Standard. So let me give this a little bit more water. I could go just as it is now. But it really smells nice. The brush feels nice. And honestly, this should be one of the parts of the shave that you truly enjoy. At least I do. Because all these amazing scents are just so awesome. Look at that. I mean, come on. So it's really nice. Mm, it's like uh, I'm getting some, it's like sandalwood. Some nice, almost kind of like woody type scents coming off of this. But boy, it's nice. It really is. And this one is, I believe, um, $11.99. I think it's $11.99. And I don't know if that's just in the VIP club, which I signed up for. Because I figured, you know, they hooked me with that pistachio. And there's really no going back after that. So that's all we used. And uh, we are loaded. So there's definitely more for one and two pass in there. I'm going to heat my blade up, as I always like to do. And uh, let's do this. Of course, this is the way, as Mando would say. Oh. And I put a brand new blade in because the last time I used a Henson, I, I gave it the, the you know the run through two maybe three times, and uh, so I wanted to get this guy. But look, it's it's effortless. It really is. I mean, this Henson's really a peach. It, it's just fantastic. I hope you're getting some of that audio. It is cleaning up a nice, a very, very nice. Yeah, you can, um, it definitely, that, that soap, oof, it leaves a nice creamy feeling behind. And I love that. I really do. I like to feel that when I'm shaving. I, I'm not somebody who likes a lot of blade feel. Um, I like that nice, when the soap kind of gives me that nice slick gliding area to just kind of work with and just kind of seals the deal and makes it all come home nice and smooth. And, uh, but there she goes. I mean, look at that. 
I've really come to like this razor. I was not sure how I would feel about it when I first picked it up. And as you guys know, everything that I'm using here today, I pay for with my own money. So full disclosure. Buy it myself. This way I could just tell you exactly how I feel about it. Oh, let's see that. And that blade's nice. I normally like the, the Astra, the green Superior Platinum. I think those are great. I just ordered some more Prasanna Med, the blues. So those will be coming in soon. Oh, yeah. And I've got about four days on here. So I was joking for a good shape. And you can see, once again, let's get that there. Those nice lather channels. I mean, you can see there's no residue in there. Simple one, two rinse, and she's up and running. The blade sits nice, so it's not, you know, it's kind of seated just a little bit back there, so it's, you don't really feel blade. Oh, yeah. Like I said, this blade, this razor, it does the work. No fuss, no muss. No, it really shouldn't be. This is the joy of wet shaving. Really nice angle. Up under the nose, no problems. Oh, I really do like that soap, man. That's a, I tell you. I'm gonna get to the label in a second before we wrap up. I'll get it up there so you guys can see. And of course I link it, so it'll be in the description. So you guys can take a look at all the different notes that are in there. But I thought it was pretty cool. It was like, okay, it is made with beer. Um, you know, I can get behind that. I um, I prefer a cream. I do. I like a nice cream. I just find it to, to really, hey, there you go. In the year again. Jackpot. Winner. Every time. Uh, yeah, really nice. We'll clean up again. We'll get, you know, do the second pass. Get aisle six all straightened up. But, um, oh, I do like that. That just That's just like a really nice cleans it's just so nice and fresh and clean I, I do like it but the uh the smoothness that's left behind from that soap or that cream is really really nice great texture and this razor i just think does a bang up job so that said let's get to it wow That is nice. Yeah, look, I mean, that is really nice. And like I said, I went for the VIP over at A&E. They have a program. I think it's like $9.95 for six months. So you get discounts. You get, you know, into the back room for specials that are only released to VIP members. I mean, for 10 bucks for six months. I mean, uh, yes, please. But look at that. Back so you guys can see. Mm. That feels so nice. All right. Then I didn't even add any more water. I certainly could have, but um, it feels nice. Really does. All right, against the green. There we go. And again, this guy just, you know, it lays on the face so nice. It just, it just finds its spot and, uh, and away she goes. There you could some clean up there. It's getting nice. Grabbing that cross green.
There we go. Nice. So hope everybody's doing well out there. Hope you guys are staying safe, doing your thing, enjoying some nice shades. I got a lot of nice stuff coming in. I can't wait to review, review for you. Different soaps, different companies, three or four different companies. So I'm going to put all those to the Pepsi challenge. All right, new razors coming. So a litany of stuff heading down, down the pipe. So stay tuned. You'll see those guys get posted up. That stuff coming from Sicily and everywhere else. Oh, look at that. I mean, hold on. I don't think I want to leave that going there. That'd be an interesting look. Dries, so, you know, the cream, it, it dries a little bit, you know, so you make sure you just keep your, you know, if you utilize this, just keep the, the razor kind of nice and wet going, or like so. See how we did. Oh, wow, nice. A little bit here. I mean, this razor is really cool, man. It, it really is. For 70 bucks, maybe $70 I paid for it, the aluminum. I think they make one. They have a titanium. Um, they have them obviously in different head types, so you can get it more aggressive. I believe they run them in the plus, the plus, 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 plus. So whatever, whatever your jam is, you have at it. Um, me, my face, I like the mild. All right, let me clean this up. Take this with a little cold water. Oh. oh, yeah, no, that soap's really nice. Let me get you guys a shot of that label and such. But it's kind of like a, a little bit of a, oh, yeah, it's like the kind of woody, like leathery type smell, but also gives you that, that back notes of just kind of freshness. So it's really, really nice. And that cream is just, uh, I mean, that's all I use. And I mean, we really, it, it loaded up this little Mando brush like a, like a lunatic. I mean, so um, that's the beauty of the creams, you know, cream soaps. I mean, the, the stuff today, um, you know, we're all very fortunate. The, the stuff that people are making in the CK6 and the K2Es, um, they're just dynamite. They're so slick. So hydrating, this just so fantastic. So let's wrap this puppy up with the Parasso in the green. Nice little aftershave here. With a nice little couple of dabs here. Ah, this stuff is nice too. I really like this. No burn. Nothing. Every, every time I use that Henson, smooth as silk. Okay. One second here. So check out that, um, you know, I have no affiliation, but you can check out that Symmetry Turning over there on Etsy if you're interested in those types of brushes. If you like the customs, if you just like your own, whatever it may be. Uh, but again, to recap here, this was the Pedro Fiasco's Vanilla. Don't know if you could really get a good lock in on that. Uh, and I do not have my glasses on, so I shall not attempt that. Um, but it's good. Very good. Very nice. Got to be uh, very happy with that. Nice, smooth shape. We're going to leave it at that. Thanks so much for tuning in. As always, like, subscribe, do your thing. But most importantly, be well, stay safe, stay strong. Thanks so much, guys. Be good.